Right, you you take the flight controls. Right, I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. I am safety pilot at this point. I was in Maryland's Middletown Valley outside of Frederick on a glorious day with visual meteorological conditions when visibility suddenly sank to one mile. Oh man, we're running into some IMC here along our route. Oh my goodness. Looks like the visibility just went down to one mile as we're climbing up into this cloud. It is pretty, uh, pretty thick around here. It's, oh man. Well, safety pilot Paul manipulated the Icarus app to simulate varying visibilities. It was quite realistic. Oh man, as we get higher into this, Oh, that visibility is dropping down even further, isn't I it? I cannot see anything outside. Well, of that's a half a mile of visibility. <laughs> I wonder what happens when we get a little bit further up into the soup and we go to less than half a mile. Man, I'm glad we're on an IFR plan right now, right? Me too, me too. <laughs> yeah, you know, we keep flying through these little puppies right here. <laughs> This is so bizarre. This is so cool, though. Isn't it? I'm impressed with this device. And the fact that it you don't know what's going on, you real, as a student, you really got to be on the on the artificial horizon. You know, you got to be on that G5. You really got to stay with it. You know, it's fun. It's it's like you know pressing a button over here and changing the the visibility for you. And it's kind of neat to, to see it just come in and out there. Yeah. The device is a bit pricey at $1,000 for the fixed wing version and $1,500 for the helicopter model. And it was a bit fragile too. It showed signs of a stress crack, even though we treated it with the utmost of respect. Inventor Nick Sinopoli pledged that he was on top of it and has recently engineered a design improvement. But as far as view limiting devices go, you'd be hard pressed to find a more high tech approach. David Tulis, AOPA Live.